This is Maxpedition's EDC Pocket Organizer. You can check this out at maxpedition.com. This is considered a pouch. They have this organizer pouch and some others that you can see there. This is in foliage green. This is a really neat little pouch that you can use to fill with pretty much anything you want to organize. Pens, tools, office supplies, fishing equipment, who knows. Um, where I keep my EDC pocket organizer is in the front pocket of my Operator Tactical Attaché bag. Slips in like that, zippers, fits right in there. And they live together. What I use my EDC pocket organizer for is sort of like the away from office top drawer of my desk. I gotta tell you, um, again, the Maxpedition quality of this thing. I, I feel like these zippers could just, <laughs> I've had it stuffed full and like it's this wide open and I'm jamming this zipper shut and it always oh, shuts, I just, I do trust that um, this is a very well made bag and it's gonna last a long time. It's very durable. Basically what um, the EDC pocket organizer is, is there's this mesh pouch on the front and Velcro here. You know, it'd be nice if um, Maxpedition sold a whole page of patches. It'd be kind of cool. These PAL attachments you could attach to other PALs of your backpack or your Lunata, Malaga, all that stuff. Um, it's got this nice handle and dual zippers. Really super heavy duty dual zippers. So how big is the EDC pocket organizer? It's pretty large. Let's take a look. Seven and three quarters by five and three quarters. When you open it up, it's about 12 across, 11 storage in there. So inside the bag are really neat elastic dividers for your tools and pens. There's a sleeve here. They are one and a half inches each. And in front, they're divided in half, so each one is three quarters. So you have six three quarters, three one and a halves. On this side, there are two elastic things. I will find the noun one day. And these are two and a half inches. So the little ones in the front are one and a quarter. So that's really nice when you have all different size items or different size tools. You have a nice variety of choices where they're going to fit. So th this has a, a large pouch in the back, or sleeve, large sleeve in the back, as well as this does. And then there's the keeper thing, which, okay, there it is. So I'm going to load this up so you can see how I use my EDC pocket organizer. On this side is small, these six small ones, and I'm going to load it up so you can really see. Life is too short for bad pens and pencils, people. Mars Technico lead holder, got like a Uniball Signo Micro 207, couple of Pilot G2s, nice gel pens, a couple of Sharpie ultra fine points in cafe color. On this side, you have the larger loops, so I can put some of the, the regular large size Sharpies that we use all the time. These are fine point, a couple of those fit in there. This is one of those super size Sharpies that'll fit in there. But I gotta show you my latest Sharpie Look at this, how beautiful. Stainless steel Sharpie. It's this size, these, these fine point size. And what's neat about the stainless steel Sharpie is when you run out of juice in there, refill, comes out. So that is a really nice new thing that I just got. They just, it's April 09, they just came out. I'm not an advertiser for Sharpie or anything, I just, have one. <laughs> Alright, so we got 10 pens and then uh, the larger loops in the back I can stick um, these scissors and I, I grabbed the large scissors so you can see how tall the bag is that it really does accommodate nice big scissors, highlighter, and in the back of here I like to keep like post-it, paper clips, an extra fountain pen. Then, speaking of fountain pens, uh, I also run in the fountain pen circles and I think they would be interested to store fountain pens in here. Look how nice that is. People are often wondering, how do I carry fountain pens? Look at that, you can carry 10 right there. So somehow my little stapler kind of fits in there too. And on this side I just keep hygienic products, you know, come on. So that's it. Um, all my office supplies are in here. I carry it in the front pouch of my, my work bag and they're always there for me. So, so instead of all this crap rolling around the bottom of your bag, it just stays nice and tight in this nice little pouch. 
right in there. You just grab it and open it. It's beautiful. So for you notebook people, um, I often do use these kinds of pouches for my Moleskina and my Cartesio notebook. Beautiful. A couple of pens. So the two notebooks fit in there and zipper very well as well. All right, so let's load some tools into it. Got this big old exacto knife. I don't even know what this is. Clippers. You're like, you're thinking, well, what kind of tools is she putting in her bag? I don't know. I just went in my toolbox and grabbed some junk just so you can see the size of stuff, okay? But this is a multi tool lot. I know a lot of you just have these and keep them on hand. That doesn't even need the big slot. This is in one of the uh, one and a half, half inch elastic bands there. Keep this nice pocket knife, foldable. It's just a little Swiss Tech flathead, Phillips head tool. It's nice, fit nice and flat in your pocket, but it also fits nice and flat nicely in one of these one and a half inch sleeves here. Get a little uh, light in there. Hey, if any of you guys want to leave a comment and suggest some little flashlights for me or torches or whatever you guys call them, I, I could use some help. I don't even know. You know, I just got some little crappy thing. But if you guys could recommend some inexpensive light uh, flashlight for me, I would love that. So I think that is what the difference between the Maxpedition pocket organizer and some of the others that we can order online is the size. It is larger. It is better quality. Even those large snippers are fitting in there. You know, I got a lot of tools in here, and, and this feels good. It feels tight. This can fit in the cargo pocket of your pants. You can keep it in your toolbox and pull it out as your, your go bag um, in your glove box of your car or in the trunk or something. So, so now I'd like to compare Maxpedition's EDC pocket organizer with County Comm's Diplomat pocket organizer. As you see, the Maxpedition is a little bit taller, and it's a bit wider, huh? The Maxpedition's got an inch um, width and height wise. Difference on the back is Maxpedition's got the PALS and the sewn in handle, and the County Com has a sewn in handle here, a sewn in handle, but it also, on the bottom half of that sewn, is snaps, so you can snap it on. It also has the mesh pocket and the Velcro. And they, County Com gives you this little flag. That was cool. Uh, I do like the County Com Pocket Organizer. I've used it for a while. It's nice and soft. It's a nice small form for my purse. I, I imagine that would feel nice in a in a cargo pants. But as for quality, I, I got to tell you just that you kind of can't compare the quality. This this is a nice bag. It was inexpensive, you know, and it kind of feels inexpensive. The Maxpedition product is, I mean, it feels hardcore. When they say hard use gear. I'm kind of really feeling the hard use gear aspect of Maxpedition with this pocket organizer. This thing's it's like built like a little vault or something. So this Maxpedition EDC pocket organizer is a really nice product. I, I, I find a lot of uses for it. I think it's very well made. I think it's a good size, nice large size to keep in all sorts of bags and toolboxes that, that we have. Of course, you can grab one of these from Maxpedition.com. And they sell other colors, too. This is pretty, the foliage green. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again. Thanks for all your comments and really kind words. Um, take care.